it's Daniel Fernandez here. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. So, guys, I hope that you have been blessed yesterday by our daily Bible dose. We talked about love. And this time, I hope you will learn again new things about some topic that we are going to talk about right now. So, I hope that you have take down notes about what have you have learned. And I hope you have shared this to your friends so that they will also be blessed by God's word. So for today, our scripture is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. So before we start it all off, please, please prepare your physical Bibles. Physical Bibles or even digital Bibles is good enough. But if you are having your own personal devotional, I recommend you to have your own personal physical Bibles or hard copy na Bibles. And also, please prepare your notebooks and your sermon notes, then pen and highlighters. So before we start it off all, let us all pray, let us all bow down our heads, and let us start our daily devotional and daily Bible dose with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful day that you have given to us. Lord, thank you for another life that you have given to us, which is for another chapter, chapter of our lives, Lord Jesus, where we can continue in serving you, Lord Jesus, in proclaiming your name. Bless all of us, Lord Jesus, right now as we're going to start our daily devotional, Lord Jesus, that we are going to learn about your word and we are going to study about your word for this day, Lord Jesus. Bless all of us and guide us through this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So, everyone, again, our scripture for this morning are found is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. So, this verse, these six verses, it talks about forgiveness. It's forgiving sins. It's, it, it, Paul discussed here about forgiving sins. So, let us all start reading the scripture first before we will discuss these things. I will be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Now, if anyone has caused pain, he has caused it not to me, but in some measure, not to put it severely to all of you. For such, such a, for such a one, this punishment by the majority is enough. So you should rather turn to forgive and comfort him, or he may be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. So I beg you to reaffirm your love for him. For this way, why I wrote, that I may test and know whether you are obedient in everything. Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. Indeed, what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ, so that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. Praise God for the reading of his word. So, these scriptures are talk, talking about forgiving the sins. Diba? Pag yung mga taong nagkakasala sa atin, minsan it's so hard to forgive others. But we need to forgive them no matter how big their sins is. Yung, yung sabi nila na, yes, you can, sabi ni Paul dito na, the first, if anyone has caused you pain, he caused it not to me, hindi, hindi, hindi sa ibang tao. But more importantly, he caused it too severely to all of you, to all of us. You just imagine the person who sinned against you. Yung parang grabe yung pagkakasala niya. Yung parang nagka-impact na sa life mo. Minsan iniisip natin, Lord, it's so hard to forgive this person. Grabe yung na-impact niya sa buhay ko. Sini parang na may nasira siya sa akin. But still, no matter how big that person's sin is, we need to forgive them. Just as Christ forgive us. Sabi ni Jesus, no matter how big your sin is, anytime, I am willing to forgive you. But we people, it's so hard. Normal lang yun. Normal lang na mahirap mag-forgive sa mga taong nagkakasala sa atin. Mahirap mag-forgive sa mga taong, grabe yung kasalanan. 
more yung yung parang grabe yung impact sa atin pero as a as a children of God as a child of God we need to follow the orders of God this is not an order actually it is the ways of God how we he forgive how he forgive us to our sins and we as Christians we want to live a Christ like life diba so we sabi natin mahirap nga but Okay lang na medyo hindi lang matagal yung span na parang ilang years mo siyang hindi patawarin. Siguro a month is enough for you to think and pray for yourself. No, Lord, help me to forgive this person. Lord, help me in what ways can I forgive this person ba? Lord Jesus, help me to ease the you know, the angriness na nito sa akin pag nakikita ko siya. And I hope, Lord Jesus, that you will help me to forgive this person. And I think God will help you. Hindi naman niya patatagalin yun ng ilang taon. Kasi pag, pag tatagal lang tatagal yan, hindi lang ikaw yung nagkaka, hindi lang yung nagkasala sa'yo ang may kasalanan yan. Ikaw rin mismo sa sarili mo magkakasala kasi gagamitin yan ng kaaway again sa sarili mo. Ikaw, Christian ka. You are a child of God. Tapos, pag nakikita, once na nakita mo lang yung kaaway mo, hindi normal na natin na sabi na, ano man yan? Bakit nandito na naman yan? Ayoko siyang makita. Baka ano magawa ko? Diba ganun? But that is, that kind of attitude is not a Christ-like attitude. That's why, Paul is urges, urging us to forgive to forgive people because the things that we yung parang pag pag ba, pag ano parang yung ano yung word ba yun yung parang pag sasabi natin niya kasalanan mo kasi yan bakit mo ko ginanito bakit ganyan ganyan yung pag yung pagiging yung pagiging against natin sa nagkasala sa atin it is a punishment na sa kanila it is a big punishment because iisipin niya na hala nagkasala ako sa kanya ang laki-laki noon mapapatawad kaya ako nito. And it will, they will bring it. Bring it. And at saka sa heart nila, yun yun, mag-bring yun sa heart nila. And once they know that you forgive them already, ikaw din, gagaan yung feeling mo, gagaan yung heart mo na, yes, I have forgiven this person. Yes, I have cleansed the angriness that I am feeling about this person. So, sabi nga ni Paul dito, he, has, he wrote these things because he wants to test if we are obedient enough sa mga, sa mga commandments ni God. We, are we obedient in, enough to follow what Christ is doing to us as what He forgives us? Tayo nga, paulit-ulit tayong nagkakasala. Ito yung routine natin palagi eh. Magkakasala ka, pray ka kagkid kayo kay Lord. Lord, sorry. Tapos again, ulitin mo naman. Lord, sorry. Ulitin mo naman. Lord, sorry. Pero, mind you, wag nyong, wag nyong sosobrahan yung ganun. Kasi there will be a time that God will said, it is enough. Because you are going, still going back to the things that you are doing and you did not do what you promised me, it is time for your punishment. Yan, ganyan si Lord. Ganyan ang gagaya ng tao yung parang hindi dapat natin sila punuin. Parang they, mayroon kasi mga klaseng tao na they are so kind but aabot sa punto na pag napupuno na magbaburst. But God is not like that. He can forgive us kahit ilang ulit natin ginagawa. Pero, wag nating abusuhin. Mahirap kung mabuso. Kasi parang nasisira yung yung trust ng taong inaabuso mo. Just like God. God has feelings, actually. Sabi nga, ba God is a jealous God. That's why we are not allowed to worship idols. We are not allowed to worship statues. Because God is a jealous God and we want and He wants that we all of His children just focus on Him. Mind you everyone, if a person really have a grave sin against you, 
start to pray right now. Now, how would God help you to forgive that person? Kasi yan, yung, yung, ano, yung pagkakagalit mo sa taong nagkasala sa'yo, Satan can use that against you. People might think na, hello, Christian siya, pero bakit ganun yung ugali niya? Diba? I know, the many will said na, ay, ito kasi kami, ganito, ganyan. No! We Christians, we must live in a Christ-like life. Hindi man tayo perfect, but we need to live that at best. We need to do that on what best we can. We need to not do sins. Hindi naman natin may iwasan, hindi tayo makagawa. Prevent! Lumayo ka sa temptasyon. And one of the things that can help you to be at peace is really forgiving the persons who go against you. And ask, asking forgiveness is also one of those. It is important. Pride cannot bring you up. It will only bring you down. Ba? Sabi nga dito, you would rather forgive them and comfort them than going against also to them. Kung marami mang against sa you because of your faith, share the gospel to them. If marami mang against sa you because of what you are doing right now in front of Christ and doing in the ministry, pray for them. And the Lord will change them. You cannot change a person. Only God can change a person or a thing. And yan yung isa sa mga mali na mindset ng mga tao. We are saying, oo nga, ang laki-laki ng kasalanan, ang hirap mag-forgive. Paano ko manalaman yan, napatawad ako ng taong yun? If you yourself, you know you have God, you have, you did something against that person, ask forgiveness. Ni naman siguro mawawala yung pagkatao. Yung may mawawala ba kung may mag kung mag aas ka ng forgiveness sa taong yun? May mawawala ba sa iyo if you will give a forgiveness to that kind of person? Because I think at that time pride is taking you up para hindi ka mag-ask ng forgiveness and to give forgiveness to others. Paul said this to us that in the presence of God, He to forgive those persons who, ask, who act against us. Paul wrote this in 2 Corinthians so that he can see if we are obedient enough to do the will of God, to forgive others. Minsan kasi, sabi na, nang hirap naman mag-forgive ng iba, kasi tayo, yung feeling natin na may kasalanan sa sarili natin, yung parang sinisisi natin sa sarili natin, ikaw kasi, bakit kasi ako ganito? Kasalanan ko to. Hindi ko talaga mapatawad yung sarili ko, yung nagawa ko to. First and foremost, learn to forgive yourself. And if you cannot, ask for God. Pray. Pray and pray. Lord, help me. Lord, help me to forgive my sins. Help me to know who I am. Help me to forgive what I have done. Because right now, sinisisi ko yung sarili ko sa mga nangyayari. We are not perfect. Even in front of Christ, we are not perfect. But still, we need to forgive ourselves as Christ forgave us from our sins. By that means, when you start to forgive yourself, you will learn to forgive others also just like Christ. Forgiving other people it is sometimes hard, but with the prayer and with the help of God, it will get easy and you can live a peaceful life. Start thinking right now. Sino ba yung mga taong nagkasala sa'yo na hindi mo pa na-forgive? 
are there many person is it a person or persons na nagkasala sa iyo na hindi mo ba napatawad ilang taon na nagdaan and i know when you see that person anger will start rising up yung parang iniisip mo pala siguro kung makikita ko siya di ko alam kung anong gagawin ko sa kanya yung mga ganun God doesn't want you to be like that. Anger is came from the evil. God doesn't want you to be used by the demons or the the the, kaaway, the enemy. God doesn't want you to be like them. God wants you to be a kind person who can forgive many people. Even how big their sins against you, how small their sins against you. Christ wants you to be like Him who can forgive anything. Who can forgive any kind of persons? Malaki bang kasalanan maliit? And start to reflect. Lord, gano'n ba kasakit yung inimpak sa akin ng taong yun? Ilang taon na kasi ang nagdaan. And feeling ko parang I cannot forgive him. But Lord, I want to because I want peace in my heart right now. I want to forgive that person from what he had or she done to me. There are many pe- people also in myself. Siguro kung this tong personal experience. There are many people who sin against me, but I chose to forgive them. I chose to forgive those people because I know that they do not know what ha- what they have done. They do not know what impact they have done in my life. Halos nga, yung recent na, na nangyari sa akin, it is almost drown me. It almost break my trust to other people but still i prayed i asked for a guidance from the lord lord help me help me on ha- on how would i do these things how could i come back to you and worship you without thinking about that person and lord i am now willing to forgive that person it it will be fast and easy when you are with god but you are but if you are not mahirap super hirap talaga yung mga ganong ways so right now pray don't stop praying for that person na aabot yung time na you can face them smiling with your face and just like you are friends you, you are you are you know each other hi you can smile at them and without thinking any bad about them. That's why we need to learn to forgive others just like how Christ forgives us. I hope you will you have learned something about this morning. That forgiving yourself, forgiving others are important in our lives. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly and Father, thank you for this life you've given to us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the learnings that you have given to all of us this morning, Lord Jesus, that we need to forgive others and we need to forgive ourselves, Lord Jesus, just like how you forgive us, Lord Jesus, for all of our sins. Lord Jesus, you are our God. You are our Creator. You are our lover and our friend, Lord Jesus, and we know that if we are going to ask help for you, you will always write there beside us to guide us and to lead us, Lord Jesus, on what action should we do, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, nothing is impossible to you. Yung mga masasakit na nangyari sa amin, sa mga nakasala sa amin, Lord Jesus, I know that you will help us to heal that pain, Lord Jesus, to heal that scar. And you will help us to forgive those person who act against us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are powerful and we know that you always understand us and forgive us in everything that we do. Lord, 
as we are going to start this day, as we are going to go to our works, as we are going to do our school works, as we are going to do our chores for today, Lord Jesus. Help us and guide us, Lord Jesus. Give us the strength, give us the wisdom, give us the knowledge and the guidance, Lord Jesus, throughout this day. Give us a blessed day, Lord Jesus, as we bring back all the glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I hope, guys, you did learn something for today. And I hope you will share this to your friends and to everyone who is on your social media so that they will be also blessed for today's message. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and push the notification bell down below so that you will be also notified for our daily Bible doses. God is an awesome God. And may God bless our day. To God be all of the glory. Bye everyone and please, please enjoy your day with God's presence.